The NHRA actually was founded in 1951. The first race, though, actually happened uh, right out here in, in Pomona at the Fairplex, the Winter Nationals, and that was in 1953. And from then, they went off and launched uh, the National Hot Rod Association on a national basis. You know, we do 24 national events a year right now. We have between 45 and 50 regional and divisional events a year. We have uh, 120 member tracks that are nationally here in the United States. Uh, those 120 member tracks uh, have over 7,000 days of racing. They wanted to get racers off the streets and put them in a safe environment. NHRA's vision is to continue to open up the NHRA in all forms of aspects of racing in a controlled, safe environment, and that will continue to bring people off the streets, okay, and make sure they're doing what they do and what's exciting in a safe environment. That is our premise. We want to make sure that people are not racing on the street and that they are racing on the track. Because when you're racing on a track, there's a lot of safety things there. And you know that there's people there that are looking out after you and they're there prepared. And you know you're in a safe environment. There's no place like being on a track where you could just mash that pedal and go as fast as you can in a safe environment. And that's what the NHRA is about. We hope to continue that in Riyadh and Saudi Arabia as well. We have had people out from many different series out to, to the NHRA and they are surprised how technologically advanced our cars are, okay? Because you think it's just raw power and it's far from it. It is raw power, but then there's a lot of electronics, a lot of computers, and a lot of things to get that power to the track. And the way the NHRA works is that you get there in the morning, you actually go up into the grandstands, watch a race. Then after that race is over, you go back into the pits and you get to intermingle, and go do some fun things, games or, or simulators or whatever it may be, or go get an autograph signing. And then you go back and you race again. So there's this continual ebb and flow of people throughout the day. There's a lot of things to do and, and, and it definitely is an experience, no doubt about it. What is it about the NHRA that draws in thousands and thousands of people? Well, the NHRA is core in that it is wide open, I mean in terms of the pits, and then in terms of the acceleration, and in terms of the noise, and in terms of the smells. Smell nitrous, okay, or, or nitromethane, when you smell that. The best thing I can relate it to is it's like cutting an onion in the kitchen. Your eyes are watering, and it just gives you so that other sensory, so you can feel it, you can touch it, you can smell it. And there's nothing like it. You know, I've been to uh, all forms of racing, and they all have a little bit of their unique things that are really cool about it. Uh, but after being in this business 25 plus years, I'm still amazed at the power, the openness that we have, the extreme nature of it, okay? The safety that we have. We are uh, continually to evolve. You know, they're always looking for new ways to improve and go quicker and what can we do to, to make it entertaining as well. The NHRA is an event. It's not just a race, it's a full event that's going on there. And, uh, and we'll continue to keep it completely open for all of our fans that want to come out to our races.